When solving mixture problems with starting amounts, first define the variables. Make an equation for the amount, and then make an equation for the mix. Let's look at example one. If a store owner wants to make a candy using chocolate and nuts, how many pounds of chocolate, which costs 150 per pound, should be mixed with 40 pounds of nuts that cost $3 per pound? We know that there's some amount of chocolate. We'll represent that with C, and it will be the pounds of chocolate needed. And T will represent the total number of pounds for the candy. We're going to call the total in an equation 40 pounds of nuts plus the number of pounds of chocolate, which we don't know yet, to give you the total number of pounds. From here, we can also state that chocolate costs $1.50 a pound, and nuts cost $3 a pound. And all together, we want the total candy to be worth $2.50 a pound. If we now have two equations, We can now substitute this value, these values in for T here. Then everything will be in terms of C. We'll then have 1.5C plus 120 equals 2.5 times 40 plus C. This will give us 1.5C plus 120 is equal to 100 plus 2.5C. If we subtract 1.5C from both sides, and also subtract 100 from both sides, we get 20 is equal to 1C. So C, or the number of pounds of chocolate, is equal to 20 pounds. In example two, we need a 55% alcohol solution. On hand, you have 600 milliliters of 10% alcohol mixture, and you also have 95% alcohol mixture. How much of the 95% mixture should you add to obtain your desired solution? We have an amount. We'll call it A. This will represent the amount that we add of the 95% solution. We'll also have T, which represents the total. And remember, this is all in milliliters. If we know that there's 600 milliliters and we're adding A to it, 
This will give us the total. We also know that there's a percentage of alcohol in the 600 milliliters. It says that there are 600 milliliters at 10 percent solution. So we'll multiply the 600 times point zero one. Try that again, point one. And we also know that there is a 95 percent solution that represents A. And that gives us the total which we want to be at 55 percent solution. We know that this is equal to T, so we can substitute it in for T here. When we do that, we get 60 plus .95 A is equal to .55 times 600 plus A. Now if we distribute, we get 330 plus .55 A. From here, we can subtract .55A from both sides. And we can also subtract 60 from both sides. This will give us .4A equals 200 70. Divide by point four on both sides and A is equal to 675 and remember that's in milliliters. So they ask how much of the 95 percent mixture should you add to obtain your desired solution and we found that out to be 675 milliliters.